47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run.
Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. A 
There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best Looking shot. Good, man. Looking good. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Oh, you're here! Wonderful! You know, I didn't think you'd come after your tragic loss. Thank you, Lucy. Yeah. I would love to pass. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Probably still down at the depot, getting a little warm. I just hope he's got his papers. I heard rumors. Now with Randy. Well, I have to go. I'll call you next Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more... damage to the world than you could dream. of the inauguration. So I would like you to lure her away from the other young lady I need to talk to. Understood? Good. One sec. Let me just get a drink. Miss Phillips. Yes, what is it? A delicate matter needs your hey attention. I am so up in the tech room. Sorry. Bloody Everything hell! Can't they do anything way. themselves up there? But you Fine, can't. I'll... Hello, sir. One of the biggest cogs in the system, if you will, but 
one of the minor wheels has grown steadily dangerous, and we must make immediate repairs. We? Who the hell is we? All in due time, my bunny. It's complicated, but in short, someone is in the process of a hostile takeover of everything that is dear to me, and he is a very dangerous man. Okay, so now what? You just pretend to be dead? We had no choice. Everything was compromised, but... But me and one of my partners are fighting back to fix this affair. We will Hello there, succeed. Sir. And... And... Uh, uh, how can I put this? I don't know. Try. It's always been your legacy to take over my duties when I retire. It's been like that for generations. You need to accept that. I have no choice. Jesus Christ, Dad. You know I hate your other businesses. I only tolerate this because you're my father. But look at what you have done with the Art Foundation. You've built it to become one of our biggest businesses. You, you alone. I am so proud of you. And when we regain the throne, I want you to be my heir. Please, honey, say yes. Screw you. This is too much. I know you are upset, but think about it. I'll have someone contact you, but for now, and maybe forever, you have to accept me as dead. I don't believe this. I love you more than anything else. Just think about it. I'm going now. Bye, my dear. Goodbye, Dad. I have a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No. It's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry. Still Wait, on what? Duty. What? I Up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh, God. This is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. Look. This is going to make me look really bad. story. And finally, the food is for guests only. Unless you're a chef.
reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. Oh, I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only Would when I so? say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, we're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. That's just to hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt you. You cocky idiot. Let's get to work. 
some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I'm here incognito, so I want you to stay close, but not too close, especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. I'm sorry, sir, but we may have a potential breach. Please, follow me. That's not good. Uh, please, after you. Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Let's get to work. Some things you should know about. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter... Zana Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the maelstrom instead. Stop being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think... About it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal.
la Dessa. Hey there, big. You are trespassing. Right. That hold it. Yeah, hey. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Good. You're clean and good to go. Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Fine today, sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Hi there. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Bullets are winning, freelance... Journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. No access through here. Please leave.
missed a look. Information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Enjoy the installation. Where are you taking me? Something big must be going on since you're taking so many precautions. I'm curious though, how do you know my name? I haven't told anyone who I was. Uh, well, I guess only time will tell. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. We don't need to talk much. <laughs> Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is. There. 
wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is, better be... Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a... ...barrel. Hi there, friend. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Looking good today, sir. Mr. Kazim, please, follow me. Greetings, sir. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold. This would never be possible, because of all the smog. Oh, do you like the building? This has been his royal highness. About the origins of my coffee. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him. Oh, it smells delicious. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner yes. and brass ball billionaire. Is a legendary fixed. political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as Let's they get come. Let's down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Wait, we have Ingram. Right I'll where right we want him. Please make yourself at 47, home. Have you know what to do. To it's something to behold. What's up? All right, where were we? Not yet. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my... I think I'll join you. Anyway, I was saying, it's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people 
talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard! Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Oh, I'm sorry. We have Excuse Ingram right where well. we want yeah, him. Forty-seven. You know what to do. Sorry about that. Now, where were we? Now I know. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice. Hey, how you doing? Ah, a drink. Good idea. I think I'll join you. Now, as I was saying, it... What? We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.